All right, I was talking about analogies and how it applied to writing. I figured I might as well throw this one out there. I always say that cells are like Lego blocks. We like Lego. Everybody likes Lego. I love Lego. So cells are like Lego blocks. And in cell theory, you've got all these little tiny pieces, and it's the building block of all human life. So there's the basic cell. And this basic cell, you know, is what many other, many, you know, you could have a cell just like this that, you know, you, you need to make tissue out of and you, you need to make an organ that leads to an organism but you got Lego blocks right here and um, each Lego block has its own purpose and its own ability but what you what you do is you might you know stitch a whole bunch of these together and then you have you know if you stitch a whole bunch of that type of block together this is one cell but in a multicellular animal you stitch a whole bunch of these bricks together and pretty soon you've got tissue So this is tissue. Then um, you can take this and then build a wall out of it, uh, like the walls of a house, walls of a toy house, uh, of a Lego house. So you just make a, once it's a, it has a purpose, you know, maybe it's the walls, you know, and sometimes there's little other different forms of Lego blocks, different types of tissue, like maybe a window cell or a clear cell to make for the window. Okay, or sometimes you just have tissue and it has holes in the middle of it. <laughs> and then that could be like, well, because things need to pass in and out of tissue. And it's all specialized cells that lead to tissues. And then say an organ is the walls. This might be the organ. Now you've got, you know, you're building up. It's not just this right here is a form of tissue that builds together to create an organ. Then if you have enough different types of organs, like you get roof pieces, that's a different form of cell, but these roof pieces, once you put them together, they help protect your Lego house from rain. Okay, and then you've got your doorway. And there, you know, Lego block, that's a totally different type of cell, but it has a different function or a different purpose. So that's one of my favorite analogies is that cells are like Lego blocks and, you know, you could put a whole bunch of windows together and make something that you could see through. And so I said, so what's that like anyways? Like what, what, what type of cells in our bodies are kind of like the window cells of a Lego? set and they and I, I said oh I get it yeah it's like an eyeball because your eyeballs need to let light through but all the eye the juice in your eyeball doesn't just goosh out so it's kind of like see-through surface but those are cells in your eyes and that that creates your ocular organs or your eyeball organs and so that's it's just very fluid you just have to know it you can't have it on a piece of paper I mean new teachers you might write down what your analogy is but over the years I just start spewing out analogies like non-stop um, and then so, then we started talking about the whole organ system thing. And I switched my analogy. I mean, I could have just kept on saying, well, you know how Lego, they have Lego robotics. And sometimes they have like these gears and the gears are like the muscles. So that's another analogy. And it's like, oh, it's lifting it up. And then you have the batteries, which are like the mitochondrion that are like powering the cells. Um, but organ systems, I just, I, I called it like a car. It's like your car has organ system has an organ system it's like you have the digest you have fuel that's kind of like the food and the engine needs to digest the fuel mix it with the respiratory system where they're intaking air and it's inhaling this air to combine with the vapor of gasoline and it creates an explosion and it that's like you know kind of when we inhale and we're inhaling oxygen to mix with our mito with the glucose that we have that turns into an explosion of energy where now I can move my arms all over the place. And so that's, that's what an organ system does. It's just like a car. It's like, you're com it's like a combustion engine, but you're inhaling air, you're taking glucose instead of gasoline, and your body is converting that into energy like a car is converting gasoline and air into explosions, and then that, those explosions give energy that starts spinning the wheels. And that's how your body is like a car, and yet you have an exhaust pipe because when you're breathing in, that's your intake, but then you're exhaling, that's a tailpipe. So you use the same tailpipe and intake pipe or intake air valve, whatever. Um, but your body's like a car. I mean, you've got, a car's got wheels and your feet, you know, your shoes are like your wheels and, um, you know, all that kind of good stuff. I mean, you've got the, you know, the windshield is your eyes. You got a million different ways to say it, but 
You know, you just come up with these things and the more analogies you use, the easier it becomes to teach and the easier it is for the children to digest your ideas.